Thanks to Jamie's handiwork, Adam may be hard of hearing, but he's also confident his super suckers will be up to the task. That is like, whoo, can't wait. <laughs> so next, Magnet Man goes in for a closer look, which really isn't a good idea. <laughs> That's awful. <Yeah. laughs> That's awful. That's awful. <laughs> Well, yeah, it is. I, That's awful. I, I just thought you should know. The duct is awfully loud. Will either rig be quiet enough to squirm past security? Well, back at the shop, Adam's air duct sneak peek has made him slightly alter his suction setup. He's adding some switches that regulate the vacuum pump so that it's easier to control. This controls my right hand and my right foot. This controls my left hand and my left foot. As long as I, these are not momentary push buttons. I push one and that valve is activated. That'll stick. I release it, it lets go. And with Adam dressed like he belongs in the Matrix, he's made a stealth suit to be proud of. <laughs> yeah, baby! Suction cups on hands and feet, vacuum pump in backpack, and more wires than a New York switchboard means this heist hero is humming. But will it work? Life. Initially, it looks like Suction Man is about as effective as Jamie's Magnet Man. Uh. <laughs> ah, I see. This is a tough one. Hold on. But slowly and surely, Adam gets the hang of it. The trick is you can't let anyone be pulling a vacuum unless they're all attached. The vacuum's just not strong enough to pull it that quickly. But leg released. Leg released. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty psyched. With Adam firing on all cylinders, Jamie, in light of the air vent visit, has also changed his design. He's built much larger hand brackets that'll hold five magnets each. This is comical, these things are so powerful. And with some high friction tape on top, it's problem solved. <laughs> Finally, the addition of two foot stirrups means it's giddy up Jamie. As far as I can tell, based on my tests, my rig should get me up and down this vent quite fine. It's very simple, it's brutal, but it works. Jamie's stealth suit is not quite as technical as Adam's, but it may yet win this competition. Remember, this is what they're trying to do. Silently scale an air duct like a cinematic cat burglar. But will Adam and Jamie be like this guy, or more like this? Inspired by the movies, this wannabe robber slid his way into an air vent, but got stuck. Reluctantly, he had to call for help. And when the fire brigade cut him free, he was promptly arrested. OK, guys, this is your first challenge. Your goal here is to enter the duct and climb up and over to get into the utility room as quietly and stealthily as you possibly can. And then we'll see who has the more valid approach. In this highway okay. robbery, Jamie's up first, but Adam's already predicting his downfall. I think Jamie's just gonna be like, ping, ping, ping. and I believe in the security manual, the proper response to that sound coming from your duck is to just riddle your duct with bullets. With Carrie and Grant heading up security, bullet riddling is unlikely. But with Tori, you never know. Remember, the aim is to make a silent entry into the secret facility. Jamie, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Start the timer, Grant. Starting in three, two, two one. one. Go, Jamie. <laughs> Why, Thor, the god of thunder, is trying to enter my building. <laughs> Somebody needs to check that air conditioner. Here's some key phrases from the surreptitious entry heist manual. Be the breeze, as light as a feather, the footfall of a kitten. I guess I could get into a building, too, by beating on the ducting with a sledgehammer. 
Jamie's hearing may be permanently damaged, but he's almost made it. Jamie, how you doing? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, do you think this is a practical way to get up Was a duck? That real? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's been a brutal entry. Perhaps the noisiest attempted burglary in human history. Surreptitious? I don't think so. <laughs> Adam's up next, and I think the suction cup idea is, if it doesn't malfunction somehow, it is probably going to do very well. If he mistriggers or something happens to the control, he's All going right. down. This is like my dream come true. I am so happy right now. Adam's purring like the cat burglar that got the cream, and he's soon up and uh, running. But although he's more muted than Magnet Man, he's hardly covert, especially when he falls. You okay? I'm fine. How's your rig? Hold on. I'm just having so much fun, I wanted to prolong it. <laughs> like his mom taught him, Adam gets right back on the horse and inches his way up. But once again, it's far from convincing. <sighs> In a real situation, how does the movie myth hold up? Uh, the movie myth is totally busted. The idea that you would trust your life to a single point of failure, like something like this, even with some redundant systems, this is, this is a rough way to go. Better to walk in the front door dressed as a guard. Despite his reservations, our duck devil has almost sucked his way to the finish line. All he has to do now is break through the grate and he's in the utility closet. The myth of gaining entry to a building through the duct system through some kind of suction or magnet, pfft, totally busted. But so much fun. Given that this myth is about covert activity, as far as I'm concerned, the myth is busted. None of the techniques that we tried today are remotely what you could call covert. 